Mina-san, konnichiwa. This is David. And Mina. And this evening, I'm doing a quick review of the early type gun tank from Mobile Suit Gundam The Origin. Um, this is the HG um, The Origin Edition from um, Gundam The Origin Episode 1, Blue-Eyed Cast Vault. Correct. Yeah. So, it's a pretty good build. Um, I maybe a little costly for what it is. Um, it's an HG, so there's a lot of limitations on what they could do. Like, of course, the treads cannot move. They are solid pieces. Um, however, they do have a couple of neat gimmicks to make up for it. Um, you get a little bit of um, a little bit of movement here uh, with this um, fuel tank um, propeller thing. I don't know. Um, you get waist movement. You get full arm movement. The handguns rotate, um, head rotates. He has a little bit of tilt to him, not very much. His cannons both lift. Um, they also have these, I don't even know what they are, um, <laughs> braces of some sort. But it's They're thingies. But like an MG kit, um, they actually have um, these pieces of tubing um, with the, these pipes, these pneumatics. Um, and those pump in and out as you turn it. Um, it's just a neat effect. It doesn't actually add anything to it physically, but it looks nice. Um, but one of the things I thought was kind of neat is the um, treads are on arms. So they'll pop out and they're on ball joint sockets. So you can actually pull them both out and they will both tip and fully rotate if you need them to. Um, so it can, you know, theoretically it could climb up mountains or some shit. Off road. Yeah. So it's better than a Dalek. Yes, it is. It is definitely above um, Dalek technology. <laughs> okay, okay. So um, as far as that goes, it's pretty neat. Um, I like it better than the um, it Universal is a, Century. Yes, it is about a million times cooler than the Universal Century version of the gun tank. But the gun tank is um, it's pretty dumb. Another little gripe I have with this, um, but it's slightly mitigated, is that it's pretty much all gray. You get a couple of pieces that are not like the arms here. You have a couple of pieces that are this um, sort of goldish brown color. Um, and then, of course, you've got your cannons. Um, but by and large, most of the body is solid gray. You could probably get a lot out of panel lining this. There's plenty to be panel lining. Um, but... A lot of these pieces, I mean, this is this is all one piece, um, you know, the front comes off, but like all of that, that's all one piece. So it'll be very difficult to paint and get a lot of good detail out of it. You'd have to do a lot of hand detailing or yeah. a lot of really solid masking. Um, oh, also, the, little, yeah. the, the hatch here comes up. And if you can find a little tiny figure. And by comes up, I mean it. pops off. Yeah. It actually, It's actually on a hinge, um, but it's a really tiny hinge. Um, so yeah, basically it's a crime against humanity that it doesn't come with a Kosval and Artesia tiny, oh, tiny yeah. HG size um, just kit. just a Lucifer. <laughs> yes. I totally want a gun tank with a little kitten pe peeking up out of the cage thing. So that, that hinge doesn't really do a very good job of opening. It just kind of pops off and you can pop it back on in the position that you want to. But it's very tiny, so it's not, not very strong. Um, these cannons here, uh, they, they are a separate piece. The front bumper and the rear bumper are separate pieces. So you, you can do some painting with it. Um, these bits of ammo or guns or whatever the fuck they are, um, those are separate. So it, it, it enables you. The one thing that I will say, though, is, is it does come with a pretty good sticker kit. Um, just like the Sharzaku. It comes with a really elaborate sticker style decal kit um, with lots of really tiny detailed stickers. Um, so you can do a lot with it. I have not applied them because I, I do intend on hitting up my local hobby shop and grabbing some military style paint to put on this. And then I'll do the stickers. Harder uh, than you'd think. Yeah, yeah. It's actually, in Japan, it's pretty much the opposite of, like, America. In America, you find hobby shops and they're full of military paints, military models, and that sort of stuff. Um, here, you kind of have to look for that stuff, but Gundams are everywhere. So. Yes. Yeah. So, I think it's a good kit. I think it retails for 2,300 yen. I think that might be a little bit much for it, but it's still pretty cool. I like it. Um, it's way better than the gun tank, and, or the gun, yeah, the gun tank, and it's... 
I don't know, it's a good complement to the Origin line so far. I'm eager for some of the other kits, but so far most of the announced stuff is like the Black Tristar Zaku. And of course, we already have a Zaku, so there's not a lot of variety there. Um, we are going to get the worker bots that turn into the Zakus. Damn right. Those look really, really cool, and, and I'm really excited important. for those. They're interesting. Man. Yeah, yeah. I mean, and this is an evolution. This is this is before the gun tank, and the gun tank's technically important. Um, so you know, there's that. Um, but that's it. It's a pretty pretty simple kit. Um, not a lot of articulation. I showed you literally everything that the kit can do, um, but. It's a good little piece to put up there. Um, also, I mean, it's a silly point. You, it's probably pretty obvious, but you can't put it on an action base. There's no real place to do that. Um, so you can't have a flying gun tank. Um, <laughs> well, <laughs> it would take some doing. Yeah, yeah. Well, Maybe you could hang them on lines. Maybe that's what those um, things are on the back. Um, yeah, I guess. I guess maybe you could. I don't know, but. But it is it is sort of important because it's very low to the ground. Um, so depending on... You, you have to think about it if you're displaying it on a shelf or something. Um, it is something worth considering. So, But there you go. There's the gun tank. The Mobile Suit Gundam, the Origin version. Um, we're going to hit up... Um, we've got a nice little backlog of reviews that we got to do. we got to do um, Transient Gundam, Gundam the End, a few other things. So... Um, oh, we haven't done a review for this yet. Um, we have... We have we have him. Peek. Yeah. So, matane, everyone. Matane.